starts because I think someone's going to shoot for a takedown. Nice opening there from our Dutch fighter, Tony van Dijk. Oh, nice knee. Yeah. Although he's from Holland, I don't know him. Well, that was a lovely left hand there from Maria Dimitrov, a Bulgarian fighter. And I don't really understand. I thought, uh, well, Sammy Schilt there complaining about an up kick to the head from uh, Tony Van Dyke, but as far as I'm aware, an up kick to the head of a standing opponent is allowed in uh, KW Open rules. That's what I thought too. So <laughs> So a scramble on the floor here. Tony Van Dyke looking to sink a triangle. But goes back to the guard. Looking for an arm bar. Nope. Now, if you want to know somebody's background in grappling or how long they have been, look at their ears. Tony Van Dyke's, both his ears are absolutely cabbaged up. Well, you can see here now he's looking. Well, Sammy Schilt there, standing them back up, which I don't think is a bad call. Let's keep the action going. Maybe it's not a bad call, but normally what I'm used to, to watch it, it's like they let it go. Let them work, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely uh, knee there knee. From, uh, from Van Dyke. And these punches have got a different effect with these little four ounce oh, MMA both, gloves. They're both exchanging a lot and it uh, looks like they don't look, look at their defense so much. Yeah, no, oh, <laughs> like you say. I think it's a matter of time before uh, one of the fighters is going to be uh, knocked out. Or and the triangle attempt again. Submitted. Yep, Tony Van Dyke oh. here, he's going to get the triangle, if he pulls that, yeah, he's going to try nice and pull his right foot down behind his left knee. It looks like Tony is Sorry, there. his left foot behind his right knee, which he's got now, and he's got the arm bar as well, he's going to get the tap. Yep, he's got it. He had a triangle choke and extended the arm into an arm bar at the same time, and... I'm afraid Marian Dimitrov there, he got carried away. He was having some success with the strikes. Like you say, Ernesto, yeah. there was no real defense when they were stood up. No. He landed a few shots. Yeah. He became overconfident. There you have it, ladies went and to the ground This was a very and quick And fell into a classic with an submission. Armbar, very well executed from Tony Van Dyke from the Netherlands. Well. Yeah, it was a great, great finish. Winner. First round. In the red six. corner. Tony Van Dyke. I think Tony Van Dyke. Winner by submission. Happy that that finished because a few of those punches he was, had he an was effect. In, he looked in trouble. There was a few times he got rocked. Yeah. For the awards, I would like to call him Jan Suko. Yes. It, it just shows you in the mixed martial arts, you can be beating the hell out of someone. Jan Suko. And then it switches can all of a sudden with a, a submission. Yes, for sure. I agree. Which is why I'll stick to kickboxing. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> well, wow. for me, yes. And I as the wind is actually picking up a little bit here, I can feel small raindrops coming down. But this is not going to stop us here at Seishi. I mean, I like, I like, I like MMA a lot. It's not my thing. I like to watch it, and uh, I train some MMA fighters sometimes. And the way they make submission and everything, yeah, always look great. But if you had your time, if you had your time again, Ernesto. Sorry. If you had your time over again, I would have. I would have done MMA for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that if you put the commitment in like you did to kickboxing, you'd have probably been a champion. Maybe. So that's Maybe. my opinion. My my parents put me on judo when I was five years old. Ah. And I was, uh, but I was, I had to to play with bigger guys eight, nine years old, and uh, that was too much. That's why I quit. <laughs>